YouTube channel if this is your first time watching I'm pretty mate and you are welcome to join the family so today we are answering some of the questions you asked so I posted some questions on Facebook Instagram and then my whatsapp status and you guys asked wonderful questions some were out of hand some two were crazy some two were you know I'll answer them I'll do all to answer them but then I picked the best ones I feel I could answer. So if you know I didn't answer any question well and stuff, put this in the comment section, the ones you want me to answer. So I have here my notebook, as usual, my SRC notebook. And then the questions are written in there. I don't know whether, uh -huh, yeah, you can see. So they are written in there. So I'll read them and I'll answer them. Let's hop into the video. Are you excited? Because I'm answering your questions, guys. Okay, so let's go. First question do you smoke oh guys how can you ask me if i smoke the answer is no please i've never even tried before i don't smoke so the second question what keeps you going in life whoa okay so what keeps me going in life is the fact that there are a lot of limitations like there are hindrances there are things that keeps telling me i can't go but then when I look at God and what he does in my life, it keeps me going. God alone keeps me going. And the fact that I need to pull through, yeah, all those keep me going. Next question. Can we date here on campus just to satisfy ourselves? <laughs> I will laugh. Can we date here? No, please. Whoever asked that question, please, no. N O no. We can't date here to satisfy ourselves. Next question. Does it disturb you when you keep off what the grown-ups do, you know, for long? Really? Please, it doesn't disturb me. I'm human. I have feelings. Like, I, I also feel like, you know, you understand. But then, does it mean it disturbs me when I don't get it? No. When it's time, you know, everything has time. It's times and seasons for everything so when the time is right i'll do it so right now it doesn't really disturb me when i feel like i just have to control myself so you guys should also do that <laughs> not lie not lie really <laughs> not lie <laughs> guys <laughs> okay my next question what do you do okay so those of you who don't know i'm a student so that is what i do I'm just a student. I don't do anything else. Can we be friends? Spending her father's money. Can we be friends? Of course, guys. We can be friends. You can follow me on Instagram, prettymay underscore six six. You can follow me on Facebook. You can follow me on Twitter. You can follow me here. Yes. Just DM me and we are friends. You know? I don't know where I'll meet you one day. You don't know where you meet me one day. So anybody's open to be my friend. Free to be my friend. Are you ready to face nature or take risk in life? Guys, living life alone is risk taking. The fact that you are alive, you've taken a risk. You move out of your room, you've taken a risk. You eat, you've taken a risk. Anything you do, you take a risk. So I'm already taking a risk. I'm not scared of taking a risk because I'm already in a risk. Do you agree with me? Okay. When are you getting married? <laughs> When am I getting married? Okay, please, I don't know yet. But when the time is right, I'll definitely tell you because you're a family. I would want to share that with you. But then for now, I don't know. I'm still schooling, yet. Yeah? I've not completed. So, when I'm getting married, I'll let you guys know. Okay, so my next question. For a relationship you would enter, what would you want from the guy? Serious question. The one who asks this question, I salute okay so first of all i'm a christian so i would want a guy who is a christian i'm not discriminating other religion but for me i'm answering for myself so i'm a christian i would want to be with a christian guy then two a supportive guy a guy who supports me 
and what I want to do. And three, any simple guy, you know, anybody who is just simple, the person should just be simple, you know, yeah, in everything. Okay, so the next question. Are you someone who depends, no, are you someone who demands so much attention? Okay, so if I'm in a relationship, I demand attention. Yes and no. If you are free, you should feel like talking to me. Like, you should give me the attention. But if you're not free, I understand. So, I don't really demand attention, like too much attention. But if you are free, yes. Why not? But if you are not, I understand. So, I can just compromise. So, I don't have to be demanding, demanding when the person is even busy. You know, yeah. Okay, next question. In a day, how many times would you want to hear from your significant other from your bf even for 20 times <laughs> guys there's no timetable for that i don't have any timetable for that if you are free like i said fine if you are not free too, no problem so there's no specific time or number of times i would like to talk to my guy but then if you are free we could talk the whole day that's if i'm free too so it's all about being free and being like having the time to talk the next question, calls and tests, which do you love more? Okay, so when it comes to friends in general, I prefer testing because I school at the same time and maybe I might be busy and stuff. So I prefer with text. But then if I'm free and it's my significant other and he's also free, I prefer calls. Yeah, but friends too can call. That is if it's very necessary. Yeah, we can do calls. Next question. What makes you cry? Charlie, the one who asked this question, eh? It really gets to me, you know. Okay, so what makes me cry at times is... So you guys don't know. Um, I'm being raised by a single parent. So my mom is no more. So sometimes when I think about that, I cry. When I remember her, I cry. When I'm there and I'm lonely, I cry. When sometimes I don't have money and I look around and I miss my mom, I cry. So everything that revolves around my mom, I cry. Yes. So that's what makes me cry easily. Like, yes. I hope you understand. So those of you who have also lost your parents, sorry. And found some my baby mediano. If you don't understand, it means bring your clothes. Add it to my clothes. Let's tie it together. Okay, so... The last but not the least, have you had a broken heart before? <laughs> ah, have I had a broken heart before? Mm. <laughs> okay, no, I've not had. No. Okay. So I've never had a broken heart before, guys. Yeah, you know sometimes your partner can hurt you, you cry, but like broken heart, like the way people broken, broken, broken things, and they cry and cry and like they don't eat and stuff. No, I've never had it before. So my last question. You guys, in my previous video with my roommates, you asked me to tell you the craziest thing I did for love. Today I'm going to be telling you the craziest thing I did for love. Are you ready? Okay. So back in... I won't tell you whether it's JHS, SHS or here in the university. So I was dating, okay. And then I was madly in love so um my auntie was at home and her door i don't know the house is sad that there's corridor and the rooms are opposite each other so and there's a burglar proof in front there whenever you open it anybody at all can hear and it was late and i needed to go and see him you know i really understand so i needed to go and see him and if i open the gate my auntie will ask me where are you going to i'm not entitled to go out so do you know what I did, guys? My house is a story building. And I climbed the top. Imagine what I did. <laughs> there are pillars in front. I held the pillar. And then I was descending. When I, said, when I was a little bit close to the ground, I jumped. <laughs> Just to go and see. <laughs> guys, I'm feeling embarrassed. I'm really embarrassed, guys. <laughs> so I jumped over a, a story building. Then I went to see him. 
And I needed to come back early. If not, my auntie will grab me. She will lash me. She will strip me. So around 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. Just for love, guys. Oof. So around 3 to 4 a.m. I returned. Now, I can't pass through the burglar proof or anything. I have to use what I used. I managed to look for some steps, B, some staircase. You know, our steps is inside the house. It's not outside. So I needed to use this staircase thing. I put it there and I tried. The staircase was not good, guys. Do you know what I did? I placed the table. Since it's a pillar. I stepped on the table, I held a pillar, and I was climbing. <laughs> Guys, just for love. Hey, see, come on. Yeah. Guys, comment down below the craziest thing you ever did for love. Because my dear, I was more than Jet Li, Bruce Lee, or whoever. I held a pillar, and I climbed back. Hey, I had scratches all over. Just for L O V E love, just for love, guys. So that is what I did, and I went back. <laughs> so write in the comments down below the craziest thing no, you ever did for love. I told you, hey, the craziest thing you ever did for love. Let me tell you, people, the craziest thing I did for love. Okay. Hey, you people, me, eh? <laughs> Let me tell you, I was in love with this boy, and my father was like, "No boys till you are ready to marry." You people, really? Hmm. Let me tell you, I told my father that we are going for convention. <laughs> oh God, we are no. we're, we're literally having a convention. Eh? But I just told the man that I can't make it the first day. So the second day, I will make it. So you guys, I went the second day actually. But the first day, I told my daddy, I was going for the convention. He went to drop me at where the pickup point. I think it was a crown mall. And this man left. When this man left, and I made my call. Hello, baby, please. Daddy is going to pick me up. Hey, but daddy, the guy came to pick me up. This is even small. Sometimes I can tell my father, I'm an idiot and Palaka but you guys, I'm lying. Oh, just for what? L O V E. <laughs> love is crazy, you know. Just for love. Guys, just this is the me. end of the video. If you like it, or if there's any question you know I didn't answer very well, please comment down below so that I can touch on it very well. Any video you feel I didn't like, hate it, hammer it to your liking. Or please. If you want to ask me questions, follow me on Instagram, pretty may underscore sixes. You it's in my description. Follow me, send me a DM about the question, and let's see what's up, guys. I love you. Thank you for joining the family. See you in my next video.